Hey, good night, guys. How was your day going? So far, so good. Hey, Alex. Hi, Raulito. Hi, Claudia. Hi, Luisito. How's your day going? Ah, I forgot that you you need to use your headsets. Alex, may I apologize? Yes. <laughs> How was your day today? Was it good? Good, good, yes. yes you, did you do something special? Because today you look happy. Nothing. Just... Nothing special. No, nah, nothing. I know, don't tell me. I, I know why you're happy because it's the last day that we're going to see each other. <laughs> no, the, uh, the, um, how do you say? The, um, how do you say? Beside that, yeah. Ah, uh, the no. Uh, I'm sad the about opposite this. Is, uh, no. Really? Yeah, I'm sad because. Uh, Why you're sad? I was thinking that the the classes uh, finished uh, the Friday. Ah uh, no. And, and I, I have been uh -huh. I have been getting very nice classes with with you, and you are the teacher the the most. Teach us, um, cuckoo. <laughs> I just did <laughs> it. I just did it. Yeah, you speak. Yeah, you're very speakable. I am, and I'm crazy. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Thank you. But I know that you you consider myself crazy. I know that. <laughs> yes. Good evening, good evening. Good evening, Luisito. I'm trying to do my best. Sometimes I make you cry, right? But that's okay. Yeah, yeah. Part of the process. I'm just kidding. <laughs> hey, yeah, but I'm so glad that we could be together. You know what? Yesterday, I was thinking, my goodness, I could even spoke yesterday. But I gotta, I had to, I think I have to, took how many medications? Like four or five in order for me to speak. But now I felt much better. Today I'm been drinking a grandma tea. Why I calling grandma tea? Because it's everything about herbs, right? Lemon, uh, chamomile, right? Onion, <laughs> and kind of things like that. But you know what? I it, it makes me feel much better. I think I've been coughing less, which is good, because I was about like this. To go to the doctor and prescribe me to have a day off because I I couldn't slept yesterday and the day before yesterday. But now I think I feel much better. And it's nice because it's today's is our last class. Can you imagine, guys? Remember the first day that we met each other? And now it's the last time that we're gonna see each other. Yeah, well, I don't know for sure, right? Hopefully, we will continue. Hopefully not. But hopefully, you have learned a little bit. I guess a little bit with me. A little. Well, hopefully. Right, Christian? Look at Christian. He's always so serious, man. Huh? But you cannot imagine how managed he is. You know what manage is, Christian? ¿Sabes qué significa manage? No. No. ¿Ustedes se recuerdan del cartoon Daniel el Travieso? ¿Ya? Yeah. En inglés se dice Dan is the manage. Entonces, Christian is a manage. Es un tremendo. <laughs> like that. Now you know, right? You know a new vocabulary. Christian the manage, Dan is the manage. Así se dice. Daniel el travieso, pero porque era terrible, no, no, no estaba nunca quieto, el pobre señor Wilson casi le daba un infarto todos los días. <laughs> so, yes. Sí. It, you identify yourself, te identificas con él. Yes. Ok, ya ven, ya ven, ya ven que tengo buen ojo. Yo sé que tienes 16, you said that you have, right? 16 years old. Yes. Uh, he's a baby. Después seguimos con Isabel. Isabel is 18. I remember she said that. And I think I'm the oldest one. 
<laughs> I think so. I don't know. <laughs> but don't just guess my age, okay? I'm on my 20s. <laughs> yes, of course. Yes, yes, teacher, of course. <laughs> Not, nothing at all. All righty. Hey, you know what? We have also have Isa here, Isaura. We have David, Devlito, Cody, Maria Santos. We have Luisito. All right, good. Excellent. Hey, did you practice or did you uh, took the time, guys, to look at the information that I sent you yesterday about the phrasal verbs? We have some. There are more, guys. There are more. But I, I will be trying to see if I can continue searching for more so you can basically increase your vocabulary. But I start practicing. And you'll see how useful and practical are. And maybe when you listen to somebody speaking English and they use one phrasal word or one phrasal verb, you will know what they are talking about. You see? Today, guys, um, we are going to talk about a specific topic, but let me ask you something. Who is marriage? Don't be afraid. Who is marriage? Isa, is that what, are you married? Yes, teacher. Yes. I'm okay. here. Yeah, okay. What about Alex? Are you married, my friend? No, teacher. I'm single. Okay, you look, girls, he's single. You gotta ask him for fax, VIP, email address, he's available. <laughs> All righty. Okay, what I'm asking you, Dad, I'm teasing you, Alex. Why I'm asking you that is uh, because um, um, how how did you met your um your actual husband? Was it in a university, at a party? It was an old friend. We have our own stories, right? Don't tell me. You don't have to answer, okay? Don't worry. That is a personal information. But why I make you those questions? Because, for example, sometimes, guys, uh, we were, like, for example, dating with someone, one, someone and then broke up, right? And then we're like, uh, okay, I don't know if I'm going to meet another person any day, anyhow. But then we met with a friend and they gave us like some advice, right? Hey, why don't you don't go do that? Why don't you uh, take dance classes? Why do you go to the gym? Why let this? And they start giving advices, right? So today, guys, we are going to talk about many ways, at least four ways that we can use. And those verb tenses you already know because you already managed them. But it will be really interesting how you can use it to talk about um, advice. Advice to, for example, to do something or also, guys, to stop doing any kind of behavior, for example, or a bad habit. For example, let me, uh, let me give you a three scenarios and I want you to start thinking so in some advice right now. But I'm going to let you know when I'm going to ask you for those advice. Um, how about if you know that there is a person, like girls, right? Girls love shopping, right, guys? Right, girls? We like to go shopping. We like to uh, go to see, um, uh, I don't know, clothes, makeup, uh, bags, or I don't know, shoes, whatever. But tell me the truth. Sometimes we buy and we do not need that. But it was really lovely that we have to buy it. But there are persons who buy it and buys it and buys it. And it's like a bad behavior because it's spending a lot of money. So how, for example, what advice you can give to that person? Oh, for example, let's say that we already have our breakfast. But there is a guy that we know, a girl that we know, that always eats junk food at night. For example, is that lifestyle healthy? What would be a good advice that we can recommend that person to avoid that bad habit? And last but no least, let me ask you something. Have you done have you recently or oh, you have that habit like 
crack your fingers like this. You're like that. Have you cracked your fingers? Do you know somebody who cracks their fingers? Is that a bad or a good habit? We don't know. I'm not going to ask you something right now. But I just see. start thinking about that. Do you do that, Alex? Do you, do you crack I, your fingers? Yeah, I, I, get that. I think it's about David. I was... Uh -huh. yes. Okay, I'm start sure. thinking about an advice that you can give to yourself to avoid that bad habit. But don't worry, Alex, because today we're going to learn four ways to give advice. Guys, I, I don't say advices, okay? Because I always hear that there are some people that, is, that always says advices. There are there is an advice and there are some advice, but never say some advices. Okay. If you would like to talk about one information or one advice, you gotta say an advice. Like an art like an article, right? The term uh, um indefinite determination, an advice. And if you would like to talk about more than one advice, you gotta use the word some, okay? Why? Because advice is a word that you cannot pluralize. So do not do not say advices, never. If you want to talk more than one advice, you got to use the phrase of the word some before advice, okay? Some advice, that means that you're giving more than one. If you're giving only one, you might say an advice. It's just a tip. Okay, so let's, guys, listen to a conversation about a friend. Do me a favor. I want you to identify two things. Two things. What is the end scenario that takes this conversation? What is the end scenario? Where, where are they by the time that they are walking or talking? And what had happened to him? That's the first thing. There's two things that I want you to identify the first time that you listen to this conversation. On the second time, I'm going to ask you for more. But right now, only two things. Which is the scenario? What, where, Which place are they at the moment that they're speaking? And what is exactly the problem? That's all. Are you ready? Okay, awesome. All righty, ready to rock and roll? Let's share right now my screen and let's listen to this conversation. Part A, listen and practice. This is so depressing. I haven't had a date since Angela broke up with me. What can I do? Why don't you join an online dating service? That's how I met Amy. Actually, I've tried that, but the people you meet are always different from what you expect. Well, what about taking a dance class? A friend of mine met his wife that way. A dance class? Are you serious? Sure, why not? They offer them here at the gym. I don't think that's a very good idea. Have you ever seen me dance? I have two left feet. Okay, now do me a favor. Where do I, they are coming from? For which place? Mm -hmm. Only one. I know that everybody wants to participate, but hold your horses. I know. Uh huh, Alex. Where the conversation coming from? Uh huh. Is so, about yeah. he's talking about the broke up with her bro with uh -huh. her girlfriend in. Uh -huh. Start um getting um like depressed. <laughs> I don't know. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, exactly. That's the topic that he broke up with his girlfriend. But where they are coming from? Are they on in a restaurant, in a hotel, in a school, in a park, in a gym? Have you identified that? I did not identify. No. That. Nobody? 
Al final escuché que dijo que era el gym. Exactly, you're right. Oh, the gym. All right, you're right. I know he he mentioned us. He recommended a dance class. Ah, aha. Wait, wait. Hold your horse, Carlita. Great, great job. That is another question that I'm going to ask you about, but good job. Good. Okay, now that Carlita already gave us like one example, but don't worry. There are two more. Now, I want you to do me a favor. Now we know that what happened. He broke up with his girlfriend. Yes. He, they are coming from the gym. Correct. What the Christian said. Now, I want you guys to pay attention about the suggestions or the advice that his friend gave him what he can do to basically move on with his life that's all that i need carlita already gave you one tip but she's missing an extra information so don't worry don't worry but good job carlita all right now let me let's go back to business and let me share right now my screen and let's listen one more time. Page 61, exercise eight, conversation. Mm -hmm. I have two left feet. Part A, listen and practice. This is so depressing. Mm -hmm. I haven't had a date since Angela broke up with me. What can I do? Why don't you join an online dating service? That's how I met Amy. Actually, I've tried that, but the people you meet are always different from what you expect. Well, what about taking a dance class? A friend of mine met his wife that way. A dance class? Are you serious? Sure, why not? They offer them here at the gym. I don't think that's a very good idea. Have you ever seen me dance? I have two left feet. <laughs> All right. I have two left feet. That means exactly the same way in Spanish. Tengo dos pies izquierdos. That means you can't dance. All righty. But I know that Alex and Carlita and Isabel and Isaura, they don't have a left fit. They can dance. I remember that you said that. Hopefully, I'm okay. Okay, guys. So, his friend gave him two advice, actually, about what he can do after he broke up with his girlfriend. Do you, do you remember what was the first one? Mm -hmm. She recommends him uh, join to a date lining. Uh -huh. All that date lining, very good, Janelle. That means search for a girl on the internet, right? In chats. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Uh, had he tried that? Or no? Yes, she tr yeah, he, he tried it, but mm -hmm. um, I don't. I don't like the people who meet in this, in these places. You so or him? Him, <laughs> him? him. <laughs> okay. Why not? Why? Why not? Because it's not the who expect. Exactly. Hey guys. The, for example, would you like to try that that um advice to meet someone via chat via internet? Do you think it will be trustful? It will be good at it. What do you think? Yeah, and Tinder. Kinder, Francisco. No, Tinder, Tinder. No, is Tinder, with Tinder with T. Ah, that is like a like a like a chat yeah. when you can meet someone. Yes, yeah, yeah, you, you can chat with the person first. Ah, okay. And do you recommend those kind of chats or online way to meet someone for the first time? Yeah, I recommend. This. Really? Do you have a really good experience? Okay, listen, guys, pay attention, take notes. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I know people, good people. Ah, and, but did you meet your wife like that or your girlfriend? I don't know. Uh, yeah, one girl, one girl, girlfriends. One girlfriends, you see how many you have had, my friend. Goodness, <laughs> second one, no, I'm just using you, <laughs> but that's good, good, Frank. Excellent, yeah, okay. He's agree, maybe you are not agree, but Frank has had a good experience, okay. That was the first one. 
What about the second um, advice? Do you remember? Yeah, and did she take class for dancing? Dance classes, uh-huh, exactly. Do you think that's a good idea to take dance class? Can you meet someone like, like that? Or no? For his, no, because he ha he uh, he can he, do, he uh -huh. have legs. He have two yeah. legs, left fits, right? Yes. So that means he yeah. cannot dance. Exactly. The third one is going to, to, uh -huh. to the gym. Uh-huh. The third one is going to the gym. Mm -hmm. like the third one. Yes, exactly. Because in the gym, uh, they said that they give uh, some dance classes, right? At the gym. That's good. No. Do we have a dance, uh, gyms that offers dance classes here in El Salvador? No? Yeah, they really? do Zumba. Mm -hmm. Ah, Zumba. No, but I mean, uh, well, yeah, we get, it does consider kind of aerobics, right? Yeah. But I mean, dance classes, like, ooh, like salsa, bachata, merengue, like that. Do we have a, a gym that offer classes like that here in El Salvador? I'm asking, because I don't know. No idea, right? Yeah, so, some gyms. Uh... Uh -huh. They, 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 they offer, yeah, but it's different class. Ah, uh, for example, uh, Frank, it's, it's the same how the aerobic um, for bachata. Uh, ah. uh, so is, they're kind of Zumba and aerobics, and they incorporate those rhythms, yes, uh, uh, but no, but not actually dance class, it's part of the aerobic class. Yeah, it's a part. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Now I gotcha, Alex. Okay, I, yeah. good job. Hmm. Interesting. No, but I'm not sure. I'm I'm pretty sh I'm not uh -huh. sure. But um there is one that the Take note. Uh, okay, there take is note. one in, in San Salvador. The, you mean in the one, downtown? Well, it's a one it's one guy uh put the commercial so too cold. No, to put the commercial on the TV. Really? But not. Yeah, TikTok, but, no. but he danced in the in the program in the, in channel number four. Channel I don't know if uh, you remember that. And he I said that he he have uh, uh huh uh how do you say that? <laughs> um, Jim. To dance. To, 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 I think you know what it was. He an, an old no, a young man, Alex. Yeah, he was a young oh man who who, uh -huh. who was. Um, I know. Grimaldi. I know who, the last name is Grimaldi. Yes, exactly. Yes, Frank. Thank you. My niece, when she was here in El Salvador, she started taking classes with him. He gave like dance classes. To babies, teenagers, and grown-up people like me. Oh, yes, Grimaldi. What's the first thing? Yeah, that guy, Grimaldi. Grimaldi, yes. right? Yes, yeah, Grimaldi, he's a very yes. nice dancer. I have seen him. And he's really good. I think he yeah. has his own dance academy, right? Or no? And they, yeah, and, yeah. Right? And, they, and then him is who do the shows in the... The Cameroon, uh -huh. you know, there are, I, I know, uh, I heard uh -huh. something about that. Really? They, yeah, they do shows in, in the Cameroon. Um, There's something about Ooh. dancing. <laughs> wow, that's really interesting. I didn't know about that. You see, guys, you teach me something new every single day. That's good. Now I know. Hey, search for uh, where is the place where he, he still continue te teaching classes or no? Don't you know? No? No idea? No idea. No. No idea? No? no. You stopped giving dance no. classes? Oh. Yes. Yes. I, to next, uh, next year. Ah, okay. That's good. So that's good to know. I always look for a place where you can learn how to dance. That's a really good exercise, by the way. 
to stay in shape. And at the same time, you have fun. That's good. Thank you, guys, for the extra information. Now, do me a favor. Oh, Billy Grimaldi. Thank you, Ida. You're, you're my hero. <laughs> yeah, I remember her his last name, but I forgot his first name. Yes, Billy. Yeah, I remember that. He's a nice, nice, nice dancer. We're he's a really proud of being a Salvadoran guy. Good job. Now, guys, let's go back to business after this commercial. <laughs> let's go back to business. All righty. So now, guys, let's. I want to show you that conversation. We're not going to practice right now the conversation right now so far. But I want you guys to see the conversation because I want you to identify at least two ways to basically use when we're talking about giving advice. There you go. Let me share right now my screen. Um, have you noticed that I I feel much better now? I can speak more, <laughs> which is really good for me. All right. Okay. Can you see my screen now? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes. Awesome. Yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. So let's ch change right now the color. And okay, in the first place, we have the reason what had happened to him, right? That he broke with his girlfriend. But take a look at the advice that Mike gave him. He said, why don't you join? You see? And in the second time, he said, what about taking a dance class? The first one, why don't you join? Do you know what is this about? Is it like a, a try, intense, try, the, the new? Exactly. Thanks. The first way to give advice is to use negative questions. Why don't you? The second way to give an advice is to use Jerome. What about tanky glasses? Let's move forward. Okay, let's see, let's scroll down a little bit. Let me change. Take a look. We have four ways to make suggestions. Alex, do me a favor. Can you please read the first example? Making suggestions. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Read it. Making suggestions with moral plus verbs. Mm -hmm. Maybe you could go to a chat room. Exactly. The first way to give a suggestion is to use a mother verb with a verb. In this case, the mother verb is maybe. And then you decide which advice you are going to give. Maybe you could go to the chat room. Maybe you can, you could go to a dance club. Maybe you could, or maybe, or um, would be a better idea like that, right? You can use any kind of model verbs to give suggestions. That's the first one. What about the second one? Isabel, the second way to make you suggestions with gerunds. Can you please read an example for me? What about taking a dance class? Mm -hmm. uh, how would you tell asking your friend to introduce you to their and other friends? Exactly. You see, questions with ING form. What about taking a dance class? Have you thought about asking your friends to introduce you to their or, or, or their friends? Very good. But there are two more ways. Can you please be so kind to read it for me? The third option that is basically 
have used in the dialogue, Christian? Um, number three. With yes, negative, with, with never negative questions. Why don't you join only doing service? One more time. Why do you join on on online dating service? Do it one more time. Why don't you join an only join mm -hmm. service? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I know that it, this is hard because we have on on right. But let's take a moment. Online. Repeat it after me. Online. Solo repítelo, Christian. Online. Online. Dating. Dating. Service. Service. Why don't you join on online dating service? Dilo. Why don't you join on online dating service? Okay, now do me a favor. Try to say it a little bit faster. One more time. Why don't you join on only dating service? Ah, viste, ahí te fuiste. No, 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 no quiero que que te vayas con la pronunciación, sino que trata de irlo un poquito más rápido, pero siempre con la good pronunciation. Why don't you join on online dating service? Dale otra vez. You can do it. Why don't... Ay. Dale otra vez. Why don't you join on only dating service? Online. Online. Ah, online. Yes. Uh -huh. online. Dale otra vez. Why don't you join on, on online dating service? Dale otra vez. Si nos estamos hasta las nueve, hasta las diez, no importa. Dale. Este, esa palabra es la que, la que se, la ¿Sabes que se cuál me es el dicho aquí? Tú sabes que se es on, uh, online. Lo difícil acá es que hay dos on, on. Y eso es lo que te, te traba a veces. Tú dices, <laughs> why don't you join on online? On online, ¿sí? Dating service. Dale otra vez. You can do it. Why don't you join on online dating service? Very good. Otra vez. Why don't you join on online dating service? Muy bien. Hoy no te comas el dating. Dilo bien, pero estás bien. Ya el on online lo pasaste. Dale, otra vez. Why don't you join on online dating service? Muy bien, pero no te estés muriendo como... Porque... <laughs> dale, dale. You can do it. One more time. Why, why? Ah, un momento. Eh, agarra impulso un momento, y agarra ¿verdad? aire y dale con todos los poderes. Why don't you join on online dating service? Bien, pero no lo digas tan serio. Hace de cuenta y caso que le estás diciendo a Alex. Mira, ¿y por qué no te, ve, te veas en los chats en línea? Vos? Like that, right? Like the, así como... Talking in between you guys, como pana, como brother, okay? It's a ton of voice. Dale, otra vez. Why don't you join on only... Ah, sorry. Dale, dale, otra vez. Why, why don't you join on online dating service? No tengas miedo. Dale, de nuevo. Es que en esas dos palabras me trago no, online sí. y la otra. Es que se me olvida la pronunciación de la otra. Pero es que no se te olvide. Dale. Maybe, te van maybe, a dar parranda can... al final, pero that's okay. Don't worry about it. <ríe> dale, dale. Maybe, maybe he can use a, a una táctica ahí. Puede decir primero esa palabra y después la otra. Uh -huh. Why don't you join? And después at, at, at online dating service. Ajá, uh -huh. exactly. Dale. Dale, Christian. Why don't you join on online dating service? Vaya, hoy sí. Hoy sí, mira. Bárbaro. Uh, y cuando le dije que le iban a dar parranda, dije, oh, no. oh, I do it, oh, I better do it. <laughs> Very good job. ¿Ves? Ahorita, fíjate que lo que tienes que hacer es practicar la pronunciation. Ahorita, primero, practica la pronunciation. No te importe la speedness, la rapidez. A medida que vayas... Teniendo más self-confidence en la pronunciación, vas a ir aumentando la velocidad. 
Pero lo primero y lo más importante es pronounce it the way it is. Muy, especialmente cuando hay estas palabritas que dices, eh, 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 ¿verdad? Y en el sound. ¿Sabes por qué a veces cuesta? Porque hay sounds que nosotros no tenemos, pero que en inglés sí hay. Y viceversa. Pero te felicito. Good job. Casi te vas para atrás, pero good job. Ya viste que, que funciona cuando te pones a pensar que le estaba dando consejos a Alex. Yo te dije, funciona porque funciona. Good job. And last but not least. A ver, Carlita, the last one, the last example, please. With infinities, one option is to join a club. The next, it might be good idea to check out those discussion groups at the bookstore. Very good. Ahorita, más, ¿cómo te puedo decir? Vamos a practicar más la pronunciation pero para que suene no que tú estás reading it, sino que tú lo estás diciendo como, como cuando tú das una sugerencia, mira, yo te recomendaría esto o lo otro. Por ejemplo, mira, la primera. One opinion is to join a club. Dilo. One option is to join a club. One option is to join a club. Dilo otra vez. One option is to join a club. Mm -hmm. Muy bien, hoy sí, mira. Sonó más como que que vos lo estabas diciendo, pero no que lo estabas leyendo. La otra, it might be a good idea to check out those discussion groups at the bookstore. Dale. It might be a good idea to check out those discussion groups at the bookstore. Ahí, ahí, ahí te, te vas para abajo, at the bookstore, no. Dale de un solo, otra vez, you can do it. It might be a good idea to check out those discussion groups at the bookstore. Una vez más. It might be a good idea to check out those discussion groups at the bookstore. Very good. Very good. Excellent. Hoy sí, mira, me convenciste. Okay. Bye. Le voy a dar una, le, le voy a dar chance que dé una chequeadita a las four ways to making suggestions with modal verbs, with gerunds, with negative questions, with infinitives, porque ahorita... La teacher, como tan buena onda que es, que les acaba de mandar un writing exercise. Fíjense. Se acabaron los segundos de ventaja. Si ustedes se fijan en el writing exercise que les acabo de enviar, hay, por cierto, este, ejemplos y dos posibles respuestas. ¿Se fijaron? Díganme si ya lo recibieron, por favor. Did you receive it already? No. No, teacher. No. Ay, está bien. Acuérdense lo que pasó ayer. Que he's thinking forever, ¿verdad? pero ya casi. Ah, ya, hoy ya sí. Te... Ay, entonces, si ustedes se fijan en writing exercise, tenemos aproximadamente dos opciones. La primera dice, circle the correct answer. Es lo único que quiero que hagan. Alguien me lee, por ejemplo, vaya, aquí me va a leer, alguien, dos personas me van a estar leyendo la, la A y voy a preguntar a diferentes personas la opción de respuesta. A ver, Isaura, hazme un favor, léeme the first question, please. Letter A, number one. Ok. How can I build self-confidence? Ok. How can I build self-confidence? Dale otra vez. How can I build self-confidence? Uh -huh. ¿Cómo puedo crear, verdad, confianza, verdad, confianza en uno mismo? Ajá. David, possible answer to the first sentence, please. ¿Cuál creen ustedes? What about what participating? Do or what do you participate in? What, what do what about you? Participate? What about exactly? Porque fíjense cuál, cuál está la terminación, ¿verdad? El verbo es participating. Por lo tanto, tiene que ser la making suggestion with gerunds. Muy bien. Number two. Eh, Janelle, read it the question number two, please. Letter A. What could help me be happier? Otra vez. What could help me be happier? What could help me be happier? 
muy bien, ¿qué me puede hacer más feliz? Possible answer, guys. Maybe you could try or one option you could try. ¿Cuál sería? Maybe. Ajá, sería maybe. maybe with modal verbs o con infinitives. ¿Cuál de los dos? Maybe. Maybe, exactly. Maybe you could try not to get annoyed about little things. Podrías tratar no de enojarte por cosas insignificantes o pequeñas. Muy bien. Number three. Eh, Carlita, can you please read question number three? How can I get better grades? Otra vez. How can I get better grades? Dale otra vez. How can I get better grades? Otra vez. How can I get better grades? <laughs> otra How... vez. Dale. <laughs> How can I get better grades? Ah, oh, y sí, mira, me convenciste. Answer, guys. How you talk? Uh -huh. How you talk about? Do you in a study group? Ah, have you thought about? Pero fíjate que al final hay un algo que es to join a study group. Entonces, ¿cuál de las cuatro opciones debería de ser? Está con gerunds, negative questions, modal verbs, or infinitive, guys. ¿Qué creen ustedes? Uh -huh. Infinitive. Uh -huh. Exactly. It would be infinitives. Entonces, ¿cuál sería la respuesta correcta? It might be a good idea to join a study group. Very good. Excellent. Bye. Number four. A ver, David, hoy sí estás ahí. ¿O no está ahí el David? Ah, como no ahí está. Hi, David, no te vayas a tomar café y no invitas. Yeah. Don't okay. Sorry. Read it, question number four, please. What can I do to save money? Ah, muy bien. Una buena pregunta, ¿verdad? Possible answer, guys. Uh -huh. Why don't you? Or what about? Why don't what you? about? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What about? Exactly. Porque si usted dice, si usted se fija, why don't you come up with a budget? Bueno, po po o podrían ser las dos. ¿Qué piensan ustedes? No, ¿verdad? Sería, why don't you? ¿Saben por qué? Porque el what about se utiliza con el ing. ¿Se acuerdan? Con gerundios. Entonces, tiene que ser la primera. Why don't you? Muy bien. La cinco. A ver, ¿quién me, quién me ayuda a leer? A ver, Christian, ayúdame. How can I get along with my roommate better? Otra vez, pero no sonés como que me estás... Me estás así como... Tengo sueño, teacher. No, dale otra vez. How can I get along with my roommate better? Otra vez. How can I get along with my roommate better? Muy bien, algo que te preocupe, imagínate que no te va bien con tu pana. Tienes, tienes que ver cómo, cómo le hace. Muy bien, te felicito. Good job. Possible answer, guys? Have you thought about planning for activities to look for work? Uh -huh. Have you thought about planning fun activities? Good job. Hoy sí. ¿Están de acuerdo con Mr. David o no? Yes. Yes. yes I do. Vaya. Entonces, chicos, fíjense que hoy vamos a hacer, siguiendo con el listening activity y siempre acerca de suggestions, fíjense que hoy vamos a ver algo de personas dando diferentes sugerencias para cada problema. Pero, este, vamos a ver tres problemas. Y lo que yo quiero que hagan en esos tres problemas, en cada problema tienen como, se podría decir, que subtítulos. O tiene A, B, C y D en cada problema. Entonces, ¿qué es lo que yo quiero que hagan? Bueno, ustedes me tienen que poner o me tienen que tachar o como lo que ustedes quieran, este, la respuesta o el posible sugerencia que no se mencionó o que no se dio 
de las respuestas que en teoría aparecen allí en lo que yo les voy a mandar. ¿Me entienden? O no me entienden, si no me explico de otra manera. Sí. ¿Sí entienden? ¿O no entienden? Select a good one. No. No, Ay, tradicional. ya, me, yo por eso pregunto, porque a veces me cuesta a mí darme entender en español. Vaya. We have three possible um, situations or problems, right? And each problem has A, B, C, and D advice. But what I want you to notice, guys, is that in each scenario, in each problem, the people will start talking about suggestions that the person can do for each scenario. But you need to pay attention to each suggestion for each program or problem because one of the suggestions that appears in the information that I'm going to send it to you, actually the person did not mention. So I want you to identify which one was the one that the person did not mention. Oh, you see? Yes, teacher. <laughs> yes. No. Todavía no. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Let me share my screen. Allow me one moment. Page 62, exercise 10, listening. Can you listen? All you have to do is... Yes, good. Part A. Yes. Listen to people give different suggestions for each problem. Put a line through the suggestion that was not given. 1. How to overcome shyness. Well, I think if you're really shy, it might be a good idea to see a therapist or someone like that. You know, to get some professional help. You can't always change by yourself. Or how about getting one of those self-help books from the library? I'm sure there are books around with lots of good suggestions that you can try. I think the best thing is to join a club and do activities where you have to meet and talk to different people. Like, if you join a theater group and work on putting on a play, you'll probably be able to overcome your shyness. Okay, the first is scenario. How to overcome shyness. Como quitarme el ser una persona tímida o sobrellevar la timidez. Which of the four options that people did not mention? No mention. Take medication. Take medication. Very good. Let's listen to the second scenario. Two, how to stop biting your fingernails. I think biting your fingernails is just a sign of anxiety. So the first thing to do is to find out what's making you nervous. Once you've identified that problem and then solved it, the nail biting will disappear. My sister used to bite her nails all the time. So she started wearing bright red nail polish. She bought the really expensive kind. So she felt that she had made an investment in quitting her bad habit. I think the polish made her think about what she was doing, too. Anyway, after a few months, it worked, and she has really nice nails now. I guess if you're a guy, it's a little more difficult, though. Maybe you could find something else to do when you're stressed out, like tapping your fingers or counting to a hundred. 
you have to try to transfer your habit into a different activity, one that doesn't cause such a problem. In the scenario number two, which is the if the suggestion that, that was not given? Wear gloves. Does everybody agree? Yes? Okay, good job. Number three, let's continue listening. Three, how to organize your busy schedule. To organize a busy schedule, one thing you could do is make a list. I usually make a list of all the things I have to do. Then I prioritize them. Then I decide which days I'm going to get the things done based on which errands are the most important. Maybe you could use electronic reminders. Put all the things you need to do into your calendar on your phone or your email. Then program it so you have reminders sent to you. For some things, you might get a reminder 15 minutes before but for other things, it might be better to get a reminder a few hours or even days before. I use that to help me remember people's birthdays. If your schedule is really busy, it might be a good idea to get help. There are plenty of professional consultants who organize people's lives. It's expensive, but if you're too busy, it's the only way to get everything done. For SNR number three, which was the advice that was not mentioned. Huh? Which one was the one that was not mentioned? ¿Cuál no se mencionó en el número tres? Cancel appointments. Cancel appointments, exactly. Exactly. Fue el único it was not mentioned. Okay, good job. Now let's continue talking, guys. By hoy ya saben ustedes cómo se hacen los advice. Se hacen como giving use models with verbs, with infinitives, right? With negative questions. Y con gerunds, hoy Háganme un favorcito, le voy a poner bien grande esta pantalla para que no digan, teacher, no veo, porque no te creo, a menos que tengas que usar lentes. Vamos a ver, let's share my screen. ¿Se acuerdan el, los tres ejemplos que les pedí que pensaran en las posibles soluciones? Vaya, aquí está, miren. La, el, el problema sería, how can I stop buying things I don't need? ¿Cómo puedo parar de comprar Cosas que yo no necesito. Dos, eating junk food at night. Y tres, cracking my knuckles. Knuckles, ¿saben qué son? Nudillos, right? A ver, Carlita, yes. pensá en un ejemplo. Elegí cualquiera de los tres. ¿Cuál vas a elegir? Pick one. Cracking my knuckles. O si quieres, lo elijo por ti. Buying things I don't need. Va, ya ver. Ok, si tú tuvieras un friend o, oh, este, si tú tienes ese problema, entonces, ¿qué suggestion este, dir, dirías o darías a alguna persona para que evite comprar cosas que no necesita? Maybe you can do a presupuesto. How do you say presupuesto en inglés? Lo acabamos de ver. Budget. Budget, very good. Maybe, oh, uh -huh, maybe you could do. Maybe you could do a, a budget. A budget, muy bien, excelente. Good job. Mm -hmm. Isaura, what about eating junk food at night? Yo sé que eso no es, no te pasa a ti porque siempre come o cookies or grapes or bananas or apples, pero... Ponele que David tenga ese problema. Ponele. Es un ejemplo, No estamos diciendo que el David coma el gran, la huge hamburguesa, ¿cómo se llama? La Big Mac enorme de la McDonald's. No, no estoy diciendo eso ni es publicidad. Sí, pero ¿qué le, qué le recomendarías a Mr. David para que no comiera tanta junk food at night? Maybe you can eat more 
eat healthy, for example, fruit and vegetable. Ajá. Siguiendo esa idea, usemos uh, el Jerome. La suggestion con Jerome. ¿Te recuerdas? Te, ajá, no. te lo voy a poner. Aquí está, mira. What about? Have you thought about? Podría usar este. What about? En vez de taking, ¿qué, podrías, qué, qué verbo podrías usar con ing? Eating. Ajá. Eating. How about? Ajá, eating. Yeah. Eating qué? Eating healthy. Eating healthy? Ajá. Ah. O podrías ponerle, pobrecito, no, le, no lo vas a mandar de un solo a comer bananas y manzanas. Sabes más que a él le fascina la pizza y la hamburguesa del Wendy's. No. Pero ponerle, vaya, trata de decir, why you, how about start eating a little healthy? Vaya. Así, ¿verdad? de poquito, poquito. En vez de comprar soda, vaya, cámbialo por ahí, Steve. Que no hay mucha la diferencia, pero bueno. ¿Va? En vez de french fries, ¿por qué no pedís una manzanita o un pastel de manzana con café? Va, más healthy. <ríe> y así. Good job. <ríe> Pobre, conste, David. No estamos diciendo que estás comiendo junk food. No, nada que ver. Es un ejemplo. Y se acuerdan que había un compañero que dijo que tenía el último problema. Cracking his knuckles. ¿Se recuerdan quién es? Do you remember who has that problem? No diga, el compañero que tenga ese problema no lo diga. Quiero ver si you have a good memory, guys. Saúl. Saulito, cabal. Gracias, Claudia. Vaya, Claudia, ya que viste el micrófono. Thank you so much, baby girl. <laughs> ¿Qué, ¿Qué suggestion le podrías dar a Saulito? Uh, go to the market. To buy fruits and vegetables. No, oh. pero si el, el problema de él es que se, se ah, okay. truenan los dedos, hombre. Sí. Ajá, ¿qué suggestion le podía dar, por ejemplo, usando una negative? Negative question, why don't you? Voy a ball, teacher. Ajá, voy a ball, right? ¿Para qué? Maybe to exercise, no? Mm. Uh, to, to squeeze it. To squeeze it. Very good. Uh-huh. Exactly. Maybe mm. you could buy a bowl to squeeze it. Exacto. Muy bien. Te felicito. Podría ser una buena idea. ¿Alguna otra suggestion? ¿O solo eso puede hacer mi querido, mi querido Alex? Listen to music. It would be, ajá, uh ajá. -huh, uh -huh. It would be a good idea to listen to music. Ajá, uh -huh, muy bien. Pero qué clase de música, porque si le pones a ver by Halen o Kiss, le va a dar más ganas de que. Algo que lo relaje, vea. Relax. Relaxing. For example, Bossa Nova, ¿verdad? Así, bien, así como, no sé, usted me parece Kenny G, algo así, vea. Examples, solo son examples, nada más. Vaya, ya ve. ¿Quién de ustedes tiene ese problema? No, pero... Ajá. ¿Has empezado a hacer algo, Alex? About that. I... Um, I quit the... Yes, I, I quit the... You quit it? Ah, yeah, quit okay, it. that's good. It. That's good. I quit that um, because I heard it and I read uh -huh. it. Uh-huh. And then I... That uh, doing them, them very much this thing, like mm -hmm. that uh, causes a little... Causes? Um, mm -hmm. A little... Um, Arthritis? Damage in, in your in your, in your articulations? Uh, in your bones. In the bones, in the joints, in yeah. the bones, yes. Yeah, yeah, and the and the on the on the 
were you were you uh both the, the here those in yeah. Naples, you see? In the joint. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the joint. Yes. Uh, yes, it's true. That yeah, my turn a little bit. So mm -hmm. when I hear about it, um I, I quit the, the, to do that. Yeah, thing. because you, you were scared, right? That maybe that happens to you. Yeah, and it's true. Yeah. And it's true. Hey guys, do me a favor. Uh, how many persons do you know that they have that bad habit? Like crack all the knuckles. Que se truenan los dedos. ¿Quiénes conocen ustedes? O, o conocen a varias I, personas. I know, I know a guy, he, he used to do like, 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 like the neck and his neck and, and yes. then the, the shoulders. Uh, you like, gotta know what you're doing because you know you're like, you can kill yourself. Yeah, I know. Yeah. But why, why they, why do people, but does some that? people recommend that, that do that after the make, to make exercise. Well, to, if you, you have to learn how to do it because it's yeah, part of the stretching. It. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's... But if you don't know, you better don't. Yes. Exactly. So you could, you yeah. could, yeah, you could hurt yourself. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yes. Exactly. You got to do it the right and the the right. The right thing in the right way. Yeah. In the right moment, <gasps> guys. You know what? It's oh my god, time is over! Wow, isn't it amazing? Well, of course, because the time is over, but not because I'm leaving you. Well, guys, it was our last class. <laughs> I'm so happy that I had the honor to meet each of you because it was an honor and a pleasure. Uh, I don't know who will be continued together or maybe we can meet each other in the future. I don't have any idea. Well, but I wish you the best. Yeah, and each teacher that you basically be with, you can learn something new with that teacher. Maybe you don't like the way they teach us. Maybe you know you you say I this teacher like this, but try to also get all the positive information or the positive thing that you can get from that teacher. Because all my my co-workers are really nice. Not as crazy as crazy as I am. No, I think I'm unique because I'm a really crazy teacher. I'm trying to count down. Imagine when I was a baby. <gasps> Poor of my mommy, right? Poor of my mommy. <laughs> Poor if, yes, of course. <laughs> you cannot imagine, imagine how many, can I say, how many stories I have about myself getting into trouble. But getting into trouble, like, for example, I ate, um, how can you say that in Spanish? Botón. Once I remember that, me metí una aguja capotera aquí una vez. Mi cabeza quedó adentro de una silla. There's a lot of stories about myself, about my childhood, that maybe once I will basically share with you in a very detailed information. <laughs> but also right now, lo dejo picado. Yes, Frank, you cannot imagine. I was Christian. I was a managed baby girl. Can you imagine? Tan inocente que me veo. Thank you very much for your, your help about all the these uh, classes. <laughs> well, it was my pleasure yes. doing classes. Well, I I, I enjoy something. <laughs> yes. Hopefully, you learn something. And what you learn, keep continue practicing. Okay, never. Never give up. You gotta try and gotta try and gotta try. Practice makes perfection. But if you practice, you will improve your English. And and take a look. Remember the first day that you start taking English class, and then think about yourself now. Have you improved? Of course, a lot. Yes. Yeah. You yes. said, "Oh my God, I have no notice how much I have improved myself speaking English." But yeah, why? Because you took it into consideration, you took it seriously, you have a self-commitment, and that's why you're here every single night from 9 to 10. It's not easy at all. I think Frank is preferred to have his teddy bear next to him, right? A pillow and like, shh, right? And watch a TV with a popcorn, but he's always here. As you guys, 
you are tired, you come from work, you're coming from school, May you, maybe you have no eat, some of you were eating in class, I'm not going to mention who, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but yeah, you're here. And that every time that I see you, I was happy. Not only because you were alive, of course, it's really happy, but at the same time, it's because it showed your commitment and the willing to learn. And that's why I thought myself, you know what? I got to do an extra effort for these kids because these kids deserve to have an English class. That's what I was here, even though yesterday I was dying because literally I was dying. I was coughing that you cannot imagine. But I couldn't, I, it was two classes and I couldn't left my baby. So no way. I got to be with my babies no matter what. And I made it and you made it too. So congratulations, guys. Okay, I wish you the best. Have a, a nice vacations and hopefully we can see each other next year, okay? Hugs and kisses. Have an amazing night. Bye-bye. Thank you. 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 Thank